you think about a lion, you think about a, a beast, a creature that is majestic. It's awe-inspiring. A lion is a symbol of strength, of power, of fierceness, of the ability to subdue its enemies. Throughout the Old Testament, we see God portrayed as having characteristics of a lion. In Isaiah 31, for example, God is seen as a lion who protects his people. And then there are times when God even fights against his own people as he chastens and disciplines them because of their sin. The lion is the king of beasts. It rules in the forest. Jesus is the lion who rules over this universe and every event on this, uh, that takes place on this planet or in all of the universe is under his control. The lion's victory, the lion overcoming, the lion's triumph was accomplished by his death as a lamb. He conquered by his suffering. And as the lion of the tribe of Judah, Jesus is both the protector of his people and he is the prosecutor or the avenger of his enemies. You will meet him as one or the other. He will either be your protector if you are one of his people or he will one day be your prosecutor if you are one of his enemies. And so we see that Jesus Christ, the lion of the tribe of Judah, has conquered and here's the good news. If you're one of the children of God through faith in Jesus Christ, you share in his victory. His victory is your victory. We triumph in and through him, not through our own strength, but we triumph through him. And remember how he triumphed? He triumphed by laying down his life as a slain lamb. I think that sometimes in our thinking, we have reduced the lion of the tribe of Judah to a kitten in our minds. We think he's not very powerful. We forget how powerful he is. And as you go about your daily life, your daily responsibilities, remember that the lion of the tribe of Judah watches over you. He attends you. He cares for us. He protects us. And oh, that we would see him as the strong, powerful, courageous lion that he is.